Okay, YouTubers, this is the Anger Prepper. So today's video, we're going to talk about when you know what is coming. Now, clearly, guys, we all have this bad feeling. We know that there's something on its way, whether it's a long, drawn-out process to the uh, shit hits the fan scenario or it's a sudden event that puts us there. Nonetheless, we are all coming to the same feeling that something bad's coming. Some people are actually denying that there's anything going on, let alone something bad coming. And some people are confronting it by getting ready for whatever might be coming in our direction, whatever bad thing is coming in our direction. We are still one step ahead of everyone else, at least the majority of Americans, because we prep. This is why we prep. Now, we were prepping out of, at the time, we were prepping out of conspiracy theories. We were prepping out of being um, suspicious. We were prepping out of being nervous. And a lot of us were prepping so that we just make, we we're just making sure our family is fed and safe. That's why a lot of us prep. We are preparing for as much as we can for what we think we know is coming our way. Now, some of us know what's coming. Some of us think we know what's coming. But nonetheless, again, we're still ready. Because it doesn't matter, guys, what you are preparing for. As long as you got the supplies that are needed, you're ready. If you're ready for the zombie apocalypse or you're ready for the next pandemic lockdown, you are still ready. If you're ready for the economy to collapse or you're ready for an EMP attack or a nuclear attack, you're still ready. So nonetheless, it's why I said we are still ahead of everyone else. Because unfortunately, guys, a lot of people are going to suffer and a lot of people are going to die because they just haven't grasped what's going on. Or maybe they have. And like I said, they're denying it. Guys, we have a head start. And we have to utilize this head start. A lot of us are not recognizing that we have this head start, but we have a head start, guys. We have, again, we have that advantage because we're reading into a lot of shit. We're paying attention. We're reading all these articles from all over the place. We're reading these conspiracy theory articles. Whatever we're reading, we have the advantage and we have to take advantage of that advantage by continuing to prep, continuing to put shit away, right? Uh, wasn't it popular preparedness? He had a video about the possibility of a rice shortage because India cutting out their, um, possibly cutting out their rice export and California shutting down a lot of their rice farms because of the water usage. It takes a lot of water to grow rice. Being that they have a drought in California, they're gonna be shutting down a lot of rice plants, a lot of rice farms, sorry. So that's gonna create a shortage. Again, continue to buy until you can't buy anymore. Now, here's the deal, guys. We will continue to be ready for the unknown future. A lot of us, if not all of us, do not know what's actually going to happen. We don't know exactly how it's going to happen, but we know something bad is going to happen. That's the one thing we can all agree with. All the prepper channels, all the fucking people who watch the prepper channels, we can all agree that something bad is coming and that we just need to be ready for whatever the fuck it is. We need to be ready to dance with whatever mumbo jumbo fucking happens. Now, we are, most of us are ready for all of it, unless some fucking freak shit like a media comes out of the sky. Then it's game over for all of us. But up until that point, we are going to adapt to whatever comes our way. We have to, we have no choice. We are not built to give up, that's why we prepared. Now I know that there's some preppers that are already in their mind thinking, I might not make it out of this. Well then fuck it, dude. Go as far as you can until you can't. And I don't mean checking out on your own. I mean, until whatever stops you, whatever causes you to die, that's when you stop. That's when you give up. Other than that, you keep moving the fuck forward and you keep fighting. There is no quitting in prepping. Like there's no crying in baseball, there is no quitting in prepping. You didn't prep, you didn't put all that shit away, you didn't spend all that money, you didn't take all that training just to fucking give up and quit. Quitting is not in the preppers' vocabulary. It's why we prep. It is why we fucking get laughed at. It is why people make fun of us, right? Because we are conspiracy theorists. We are the nut jobs that fucking wanted to get ready and make sure our family was safe in case something happened. This is why we do that. So now, to give all of that up by killing yourself because you don't think you're going to make it, quit that bullshit out. Fucking grow a pair of balls or tits, if you're a woman, fucking grab both of them, balls and tits, and handle it. That's what we do, guys. We fucking handle what's in front of us. We are not the bitches of the world. We are not those that are distracted by the bullshit. We are those that are paying fucking close attention to what is going on. Whether you watch my channel, Pinball Preparedness, Canadian Prepper, uh, Full Spectrum, whatever fucking channel you are watching, you know 
that we are trying to steer you in the right direction. Whether we're fear-mongering or not, we're trying to steer you in the right direction to getting prepared. This is what we do. This is why we tell you guys, because you're paying attention to a lot of the stuff we're reading. A lot of you are reading shit and sending it to, to, to us. Whether, again, that's uh, Southern Prepper One, Hudson Valley Prepping and Survival, Northern Girl Hobbies, Alaska, sorry, Alexandra the Great, and Alaska Prepper, sorry. You're sending us all this information because you guys are reading this all. And there's a lot of shit going on out there, guys. But we are paying attention to it. That is why we are ready. We are not fucking ready to quit. We are not going to quit. We know for a fact that this is going to hurt a lot. This is going to be super fucking painful. This is going to be physically and mentally painful. But we are designed not to quit. That is why we do what we do. You don't give up. You don't quit. You keep moving forward. You fucking kick whatever's in your way out of your way or shoot it out of your way. And you move fucking forward. This is what preppers do. So because, guys, we know what is coming, we know how we're going to address it and we know how we're going to fight it. And we know that we're going to get past it. Can't speak for a lot of people out there, but for the prepper community, we got this shit by the balls. All right, guys, other than that, this is the Angry Prepper. Thank you for watching.